Hi, some of you haven't seen me for a very long time because I've been a bit poorly. Um, not with what's going on out in the world at the moment, but with something else. So um, I've been beautified so I don't scare you. And anyway, it's that time of day when we go tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, and the big hand reaches number 12. And the little hand reaches number 12, it means it's 12 o'clock, which means it's time to go home. So, are you ready for that time of day when we normally read a story? And for those of you who don't know me, my name's Sandra, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you and becoming your best friend ever. So, this is what we do normally when I'm reading a story. We go seat belts on so you can be safe. And then we check, check our flaps. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. We check our fuel. Gluck, 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 gluck. And then we check our boosters. Vroom. And then we say 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, blast off! Oh, if you want to know, this is just one of my cats. I've got three cats. One, two, three. And this is just one of them called Maple. I don't know if she's going to stay or not. But at the moment, she seems to be. Okie dokie. So this is the story of Jack and the Flum Flum Tree. I'll try not to read too fast as well. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? Okay, here we go. Jack had a granny and his granny had spots. Great big purple ones. Lots and lots. The doctor came and he shook his head. Your granny's got the measles, the doctor said. And the only cure in the world, said he, is the fruit that grows on the flum flum tree. And the only place that the flum flum grows is the far away isle of blow your nose. So Jack built a boat and Jack found a crew. Red cheeked rose and stubble cheeked stew. And he said to stew and he said to rose, we're off to the isle. Or blow your nose. Granny came down to the dock with Jack. She gave him a big bulgy patchwork sack and in that sack were a pair of wooden spoons, a porridge bowl, some tent pegs, some red and blue balloons, Granny's old skipping rope, of chewing gum, three spotty hankies and a tom tom drum. And Jack said, Granny, what's the use of those? Aha, uh -huh, said Granny. And she tapped her nose. Then off sailed Jack with stew and rose for the faraway isle of blow your nose. Sharks! cried Rose. Oh, lads! cried Stu. Oh, they covered us up! They covered us! Whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patch work sack. Red balloons, blue balloons, they should do the trick. Blow them up, let them go quick. So they and blew them up and the sharks went nip and the sharks went gnash, chasing those balloons with a bang, pop, splash. A leak, cried Rose. Oh, it's wet, cried Stu. The boat is full of water. Whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a 
the twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patch work sack. Granny's pack of chewing gum. That should do the trick. Chew it up. Stretch it out. Plug it in quick. So they chewed. And they stretched. And they plugged that hole. And then they bailed out the water using Granny's porridge bowl. The nun sailed stoats Jack with stew and rose. For the fire we are, love, blow your nose. in a twist said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. <gasps> Granny's old skip and rope, that should do the trick. Hold tight. Throw it out. <gasps> Grab the handle quick. And they heaved and they hauled and they poured Stew in. Good old Granny, <gasps> she saved my skin. Then on sailed Stew and Jack and Rose till they came to the Isle of Blow Your Nose. And there on the hill for all to see stood the bright green feathery flum flum tree. <gasps> Granny's bag of tit pegs, they should do the trick. Bang, 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 knock them in quick. Climb the tree, then up went Rose as nimble as can be. And she brought down the fruit of the flum, flum tree. Then Jack and Stu and Rose had a doze on a soft sandy beach. Or blow your nose. A thief! cried Rose. <gasps> A monkey! cried Stu. <gasps> He's got our precious blood flum. Whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patch work sack. Hmm, I wonder what's left. Spoons and Tom Tom, they should do the trick. Pick them up. Thump, thump, thump. Sing a song quick. But I don't know what to sing. I don't know what to sing today. Tiddly doobly doo. The monkey crept closer. He listened to the tunes. He put down the flum flum. And he grabbed the wooden spoons. Then back sailed Jack with Stew and Rose all the way home from Blow Your Nose. Granny ate the flum flum and the moosles disappeared. She's cured, said the doctor, and everyone cheered. And Jack said, Don't give her the pair of wooden spoons, the porridge bowl. The skipping rope, the red and blue balloons. Thank you for the tent pegs and the pack of chewing gum. And thank you, Granny, for the tom tom drum. Hmm. But the three spotty hankies, what was the use of those? Those hankies, silly, were to blow your nose and that's the end of the story 
I hope to see you again. Cheerio.